Rabbi Joseph B. Soloveitchik, in one of his shirim, one of his lectures on Pesach, points to a, an awareness of and a sensitivity to time as one of the defining characteristics that distinguishes a free person from a slave. Because for the slave, every day is indistinguishable for the one, from the one that just passed or the one that is yet to come. His time is not his own. The fruit of his hands does not belong to him. And all the slave can hope is that the time passes quickly and that the day will end. But a free person recognizes that time is a gift, savors the present moment. That experience that we have when we're sitting on a beautiful day in the park, when we're talking with a loved one that we haven't spoken to in a long time, when we're enjoying an activity or a book, and we just want that moment to linger, that moment, that experience of that moment is a free experience. That is an experience of freedom. A free person is the only person who can take moral responsibility for the future who has the discretion to say, I'm going to make a certain choice and decline another choice because of what that will mean for me and for the people around me at some future point. And also, Rav Soloveitchik teaches us that a free person has a different experience of the past as well. That the free person is able actually to experience the past, not just to recall a memory as if it were a fixed statue or a photograph, but actually to, to inhabit that past moment. Um, and as I shared with those of you who were um, at the Shior of My Father's Memory on Monday night, um, Pesach really was very much my father's holiday. Um, you know, it was the holiday that he most looked forward to. It was the holiday where our family gathered most regularly. Um, and it was the holiday that I think he inhabited more out of all of the times of the year. And so I, I found myself thinking of him constantly, especially at the, at the Seder's remembering satyrs that we had had together, but more than remembering, really feeling the feelings of being in his presence, feeling what it was to experience him, what it was to experience him on the happiest moments of the year for him, um, and, and what it was to experience him as a father throughout my life. And that's the gift that we, in this time after Pesach, in this time in which we live in the world as free people, um, that is our experience of the people that we've gathered to remember. Right? Um, our memories of the loved ones are not the same as the photographs that we have in our homes. They're not the same as the letters that we've saved or the voicemails that we've saved or, or any of those artifacts. The memories live within us. And as free people, we are free to experience those memories again.